It is crunch time at the state capitol. The legislative session ending on Wednesday. Lawmakers have been passing bills and thinking of ways to balance the books. We've made Stephanie Simone with one way they're trying to bring in some money. Hi, Steph. Good morning. Hi. Good morning, Laura and Keith. You know, when the deadline gets this close, work gets done. On some items, the budget is not hammered out yet. One way they are looking in to bring a wave of money, getting rid of the boat tax to try and generate sales. Look at the dozens who swarmed the Capitol yesterday wearing shirts with the slogan, Don't Let Out Boat Jobs Sail Away. They want to see the sales tax on boat sales, maintenance, and repairs gone. Boat business is down, and they say it's because many customers are shipping to Rhode Island. The ocean state doesn't have tax on boat sales, maintenance, and docking. Also, New York has a much lower cap on their tax. The cut would cost the state about $5 million the first year, but despite that, it has support from both sides of the aisle. It's restaurants, it's gas stations. Uh, this reduction in sales tax will generate a net profit in sales tax revenue for the state. Now, there are three bills that had unanimous approval yesterday. One, senators voted through a bill that would try to speed up the processing of sexual assault kids. Another one, the House voted to require schools to teach Holocaust education. And lastly, the House voted to support a number of programs to improve recruiting minority teachers. Where Democrats and Republicans disagree is how far apart they are on a budget deal. Democrats say they are close. Republicans say there are significant differences between the two budget plans. And many of you remember last year when they spent months before a budget was signed on Halloween, each day costing taxpayers money. I'm Stephanie Simone, News 8.